In the world of scientific advancements, few achievements had a profound impact on the course of history. One such is the creation of the atomic bomb. The name most commonly associated with the groundbreaking invention is J. Robert Oppenheimer, a brilliant physicist whose intellect and ambition led to the development of this world-altering weapon. However, as inspiring as his contribution may be, they were overshadowed by the devastating consequences that followed. In the middle of World War II, a top-secret project known as the Manhattan Project emerged in the United States. Its mission to develop a weapon capable of harnessing the power of nuclear fission. Oppenheimer, a prominent scientist, was chosen to lead this scientific challenge due to his brilliance and visionary thinking. With the unwavering belief in the project potential, Oppenheimer assembled a team of talented scientists and engineers who worked tirelessly to bring his vision to life. How did Oppenheimer's involvement in the Manhattan Project impact his personal and professional life? What were the repercussions of the McCarthy era on Oppenheimer's reputation and career? Let's find out all these answers in this video. If you are new to our channel, please do consider subscribing. And if you like our videos, show your appreciation by hitting the thumbs up. Born in New York City on 22nd April 1904, Oppenheimer was a natural scientist with a passion for minerals. At just 12 years old, he impressed the New York Mineralogical Club with his writings, leading to an invitation to deliver a lecture. In 1922, Oppenheimer enrolled at Harvard University to study chemistry. Despite graduating at the top of his class three years later, his love for physics led him to pursue a different scientific path. He then embarked on his graduate work in physics at Cambridge in the UK, working at the prestigious Cavendish Lab under the Nobel Prize winner J.J. Thomson. Here, Oppenheimer began his atomic research. A year later, he found himself in Germany studying at the University of Göttingen, a renowned center for theoretical physics, under the invitation of Max Born, the director of the Institute of Theoretical Physics. During his time there, Oppenheimer had the opportunity to mingle with future world-renowned scientists. By 1927, Oppenheimer had earned his doctorate and held professorship at both the University of California Berkeley and the California Institute of Technology. Over the next 13 years, he split his time between the two schools, conducting significant research in various departments. After a year of painstaking research and development, Oppenheimer's team achieved a remarkable breakthrough. On July 16, 1945, the first successful test of the atomic bomb took place in the New Mexico desert. After the bright flash of light, it was observed that Oppenheimer breathed a huge sigh of relief. His team had done it. His first words reportedly were, I guess it worked. The explosive power unleashed that day was unprecedented, marking a turning point in the human history. Less than a month later, America dropped two atomic bombs on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, effectively bringing an end to the Second World War. You can watch our detailed video on Hiroshima and Nagasaki by clicking here. The absolute magnitude of the destructive force harnessed by the atomic bomb left the world in wonder, while sending shockwaves through Oppenheimer's own morality. A few days later, he secured a meeting with President Truman where he expressed his revulsion at Nagasaki, telling the president that he felt there was blood on his hands. After the war, Oppenheimer gained widespread recognition and was prominently featured on the covers of Life and Time magazines. In 1947, he assumed the role of Chairman of General Advisory Committee of the Atomic Energy Commission. 
During his tenure, Oppenheimer took a stance against the advancement of the highly potent hydrogen bomb, which positioned him as a target for those advocating a strong response to the escalating Soviet threat. Devastation caused by the atomic bomb deeply affected Oppenheimer. He grappled with the ethical implication of his creation, recognizing the immense power he had helped unleash upon the world. Oppenheimer became increasingly aware of the catastrophic potential of the nuclear weapons and the consequences they could have on the humanity. The very invention he had dedicated himself to had became a weight on his soul, haunting his every waking moment. As if the burden of moral responsibility was not enough, Oppenheimer's life took a tragic turn during the height of Cold War. In 1954, he faced accusation of communist sympathies during the McCarthy era. Despite his invaluable contributions to science, Oppenheimer's political affiliations were called into question, tarnishing his reputation and subjecting him to a series of investigations. The subsequent loss of his security clearance dealt a devastating blow to both his career and personal life. Open's hammer fall from grace was swift and heart-wrenching. Stripped of his influence and standing within the scientific community, he faced a bleak future. The very same weapon he had helped create had become a tool for his adversaries, leading to his isolation and alienation from the scientific community he had once been a part of. The betrayal he experienced not only destroyed his professional life but also left an undeniable mark on his soul. In the aftermath of the trials and tribulation he suffered, Oppenheimer's health began to decline. The weight of his guilt, coupled with the stress and hardships, took a toll on his physical and mental well-being. Despite attempts to rehabilitate his reputation in the later years, Oppenheimer's life had been irreversibly altered by the very invention he had helped bring into existence. The story of J. Robert Oppenheimer stands as a cautionary tale of the threats that can befall even the most brilliant minds when they unleash forces beyond their control. The atomic bomb, once hailed as a triumph of scientific achievement, turned into a double-edged sword that shattered the life of its own creator. Open's hammer journey serves as a reminder that progress comes with responsibility and the consequences of our actions can extend far beyond our intentions. And that's it for today's episode of Let Me Tell You. I hope you find our videos informative and interesting. Let us know about your thoughts in the comments below. We value your feedback and want to hear your thoughts on this topic. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can never miss an episode. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Let Me Tell You.